Are you a woman in your 40s struggling with sleep? Struggling to nod off, waking up with a whirring brain at three and four o'clock in the morning, struggling to get to sleep, or basically just having sleep disturbances. Have you put this down to having just a very busy lifestyle, juggling work, juggling children, trying to fit in social activities, trying to eat healthy, get to the gym, just generally having a busy life? Have you considered that this could be the first sign that you are entering the perimenopause? Sleep disturbances are one of the first signs and one of the most commonly complained about signs of women entering into their perimenopause. It eases a little bit by the sounds of it in your menopause and actually post menopause your sleep starts to get affected again. With 40 to 60% of women saying the first thing they've noticed or the hardest thing to deal with is their sleep disturbance. Hot flushes contributing to a lot of our sleep disturbances, but this week I'm going to be talking about the hormone declines and how that's impacting our sleep. My name is Candice, I'm founder to Mother Cuppa, and you're going to want to hear these four hormones that are impacting our sleep. Stay for the fourth one. As we enter our perimenopause and go deep into our menopause years, we have a decline in our hormones. The hormones that are most commonly heard of are estrogen and progesterone. But actually, did you know your cortisol levels and your melatonin hormones also decline? And your melatonin is the sleep hormone. As founder to Mother Cuppa, I'm always on the lookout for natural ways in which I can support my body to optimum health. Um, this week, I'm talking all about sleep and hormones. Come back tomorrow because I'm going to delve real deep into those hormones that I've just talked about and tell you a bit more about what they're doing to your body.